Well, it differs according to the circumstances in the uh, Middle East and the area. During the last uh, few weeks, there were suspicions all over this area about the intentions of Britain because of the movements of the armed forces of Britain. And so all the people were... I have sent yesterday night telling President Carter that I welcome the Shah with the doctors and I shall see to it that he has the full proper treatment uh, it is a humanitarian problem now and I wonder uh, 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 if Islam is against humanity or uh, uh, the ethics that God has put for us uh, 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 for the welfare how do you feel about that? somebody have to sacrifice Believe me, not all the Arab world are against the peace process. I know very well, and don't ask me any, any further questions about that. Not a single country has any other alternative. We are not throwing ourselves in the hands of Americans or any other country all over the world. I need scientific research. I need expertise in different directions to help. I have resources. Now, experience of the United States, as far as planning, as far as implementing, as far as producing in different directions, real production. So there is a, a lot of things that I want to transfer from the United States to, to Egypt. Let me first uh, thank you for this interview. And I welcome you to Egypt. Thank you very much. And uh, let me introduce myself. Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. I am an Egyptian citizen. Um, I love my country and my own people. I want to serve them by to ensure democracy, freedom, rule of law, and a better lifestyle. Let me talk by Arabic, please.